Good evening. We're starting with some breaking news tonight. More fallout at the Phoenix Medical Facility where a woman who's been in a vegetative state since she was a toddler was raped and then gave birth to a baby. Team 12's Bianca Bono is live in the Alert Center with the breaking details on this I-Team report. Bianca. Well, Mark Caribe, the two doctors at Hacienda Healthcare who are responsible for caring for this woman are out. One of them resigning, the other suspended. Now this, the latest of several changes made at the embattled facility since that 29 year old woman gave birth at the end of December. Phoenix police have launched an investigation to find out how this could have happened and who is responsible. They've ordered DNA testing of male employees. The state also requesting pregnancy and STD testing for all patients. We also know Hacienda CEO Bill Timmons has resigned. The facility must hire a third party manager to oversee operations there and former Maricopa County attorney Rick Romley is now conducting an internal investigation. Again, the victims two doctors are no longer treating patients at the facility. Now Hacienda releasing a statement saying in part we offer an apology and send our deepest sympathy to the client and her family. You can read that full statement right now on our website, 12news.com. We're live in the Alert Center. Bianca Bono, 12 News. All right, Bianca, thanks.